Hey everybody, hey welcome back to the show. We are glad to have you here rocking with yes, us. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. We show enough appreciate yes. you, man. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the show. We want to make sure that you never, ever, 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 ever miss right. a new episode, man, because we bring you the best content on planet Earth, and we want to make sure you get this education <laughs> and inspiration, man. Do us a favor, too share this on your ig story yeah. so we can shout you out we appreciate it when you share because when you share that's telling your friends hey y'all need to listen to this that's right so thank you in advance thank for you. doing that we are super excited about yes. today's show man because we're talking we're we going out the box today yes. you know what i mean we're we yes. breaking out the 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 box of traditional norms of wealth building yes we're talking about trading i'm super excited about this i think that we have like one of the best people to on our show we right talk, now. We're talking about trading baseball cards? To be able to talk about that. We're talking about <laughs> trading stock. stocks or yes. options. Yes. We're gonna, we gonna, don't worry. We're going to break down the oh differences. Gosh, so we got the person, because there's a lot of people talking job. about it, but we, listen, we got one voice that we trust. And so we brought that one voice to y'all <laughs> so that y'all can trust that one voice too. Yes. All right. So we're going to be talking with Terry Ijoema from yes. Trade <laughs> and Travel. And she knows <laughs> her yes, stuff y'all we've been we've been listening to her for a minute yes so we don't bring y'all nobody that don't know what they're talking about y'all know what's by now so again as we always say as we bring you heavy content get your pen get your paper get your paper get your notes and get app, ready to learn and get ready hey terry hey terry welcome to the show hello hello thank you guys so much for having me so excited to have you we know that this, know this has been almost like a year in the making oh yeah we yes. actually went on hiatus yeah like with the show at the time that we were supposed to actually have yeah. her on so as soon as she was patient we were with up us. and running we were like we got to get her on yeah that's right so <laughs> i need to her. know how did i do with the last name um egioma e e e it's like yeah the e i is like an e Okay. So Egioma, but you try. It was great. Hey, you know, I people, people mess my name up so often that I try to work hard to get it right, and I messed it up. So I'm sorry, yes. Egioma. Welcome e to the show. Oh yes. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Now. I'm gonna get this right. E. e. No, I got that right. I got the second part Gioma. wrong. G. Like a, the J e is like a G. E. G. Oma. 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 Yes. Yes. Right, here we go. yes, you said it. It Terry means a good e. journey. Yo. Nice. <laughs> so, man, we are glad to have you here because you are a voice that needs to be heard. And so yes. we are glad Thank to have you. you on the show. But before we start talking into your advice and your expertise, a lot of people are being introduced to you for the first time right now. So can you just say hello to everybody and let them know what you're all about? Hey, y'all, how you doing? So my name is Terry, and I travel the world and I afford it by trading stocks. That's literally what I do. And it all got started by well, first, let me ask you, Ty and tell it, have y'all ever had a job that you hated? Yes. Yeah, I had the same job Absolutely. you had that you hated. Oh, really? Were you assistant principal of elementary school? Yes, I was. <laughs> See? So you know, you know. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So my last job was assistant principal of elementary school. And man, me and the other principal, we would take turns crying in the bathroom. It was just so hard, so stressful. I love the kids, but the administration was just crazy. Like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Like, you got like, I'm sure you know that I did this one project. I thought I did a great job. I've spent weeks setting it up, thousands of dollars getting the posters in for the kids. Like I had all this staff, my, my family came and helped. We put it all up. And then the principal had the nerve to tell me that the one of the thumbtacks was the wrong color than the other thumbtacks. <laughs> no. I said, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's crazy. That's so that's that kind of stuff would drive you up the wall. And I said, I needed an exit strategy. And for me, it was trading stocks because I had been doing it as a side hustle and it was a hobby. And I said, you know what? If I could just make three hundred dollars a day, I can replace my assistant principal income. And that's what I did, y'all. I started taking classes, working and working myself up, practicing. And then when I made it to that three hundred dollars a day, I told my principal peace and started traveling all over the world and trading uh -huh. to afford it. So, so that's my me. question to you, because a lot of people have that thought, they're like, I don't like what I'm doing right now, but if I can supplement my income, if I can make $300 a day and they're racking their brains to figure out what it is that they can do to make that amount of money per day, what made you go 
to the trading side of it? Like, how did that even, yeah, how were you even aware of that? It's yeah. trendy now, mainly yeah. because you, you've you been out here championing yes. it. But, yes. you know, when you started, <laughs> I don't was think it was like on trend. So how did you even get introduced to this? It wasn't. So I've been trading now 11 years. I can't even believe that. I'm like, dang, am I that old to have been doing something 11 years? But I've been trading 11 years. I started after the housing crash. So if you guys remember in, well, of course y'all remember, but in 20, 2008, mm -hmm. the, housing, the housing market crashed and the stock market crashed. And about 2010, it was just starting to pick back up again. And I had actually gone to invest in a house, but the realtor I was with kept telling me about how he was doing so good in stocks. And I was like, what? And I had interned on Wall Street in college. I went to MIT. I had interned at Morgan Stanley. So I knew of stocks, but I hadn't been doing it for myself. So that's when I said, you know what, if he's doing well, I'm going to open me a, I had an E-Trade account at the time. I'm going to open me an E-Trade account and I'm going to try to see if I could do well too. And ha here we are 11 years later, millions of dollars later, course millions, later, people. like it's been doing really well. <laughs> that's incredible. So let's break this down. Let's get real uh, fundamental here. What's the difference between trading stocks and the traditional form of investing in the stock market? Well, here's the thing. The way that I trade, me, so let wait first, let me pause. Long-term investors, the goal is usually to save for retirement. And short-term investors or active investors, our goal is to trade for income. But the way that I teach my students, we're still trading the same stocks. So we're still looking for quality companies, companies that have been on an uptrend, companies that will be around for a long time. We're just trading in and out of those companies to make an income. So it's not a, actually that much different when you think about just the, the idea of being an investor. We're investors too. We're just trading in and out of our position. So really, that's the difference. And some people might say, well, Terry, isn't it more risky? It's a little bit more risky. However, the stock market doesn't go up. Like most stocks, y'all know that stocks don't go up in a straight line. There's times where you can get out and take a profit when they've gone up. When you see them come down a little bit, you can get in again. And so it's, it's really like there are ways to make it less risky. And it's just a great way to make income. Yeah. So talk about overcoming like the fear, like a lot of people don't get involved in it because they are afraid. They're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I might mess this up. And I also may lose a lot of money. Like there are legit people losing money, right? Um, how did you train yourself? How did you teach yourself? Did you find a mentor? I heard you mention courses. How did you not allow your fear of the unknown not stop you from actually going full force ahead in this area? Ooh. So part of me wants to go like the faith route, like there's always going to be things that we have fear about, but God didn't get a, give us a spirit of fear. You just got to step out on faith. Right. So like in anything in your life, there are going to be things that you're afraid of. How I've got over that in stocks and options is yes, by first getting educated. So like I said, I did take courses and then with me, now we have over 6,000 people in the trade and travel course. So they're getting educated first. So that's step one. Step two is when you start taking a course, I want people to practice in a simulator. That takes a little bit of the fear out. And a simulator is where you can practice with fake money until you get good and then move to your real money. So that takes a little bit of fear out. And then the next step is you have to have a risk management plan. So for me, every time that I take a trade, I go through five different steps to make sure that my risk is protected. I'm putting in something called a stop loss. That's an order type that protects you when the market goes down. It'll take you out of the trade. I'm looking in advance to see what's my reward to risk on this trade. If the reward is not three times the risk, then I'm not even getting into it from the first place. So like that's part of my risk management plan. And I guess more so is about having a plan in the first place. Like <laughs> there's something called a trading plan that dictates everything that you do. So mine is seven steps and it starts with like picking the right companies. Then am I doing my risk right? Am I looking at my chart to see if I'm getting in at the right time? But that takes some of the emotion out too. So if you do those things, then it really does take out some of the fear. It's just a calculated risk that you're taking. Cleveland General America is a leader in low cost, high quality life insurance. For nearly 70 years, Legal and General America has been providing financial protection to over 1.3 million families and businesses. 
LGA makes understanding and applying for life insurance easy. And agents are standing by to help you find the best coverage to fit your family's needs. All you have to do is go to hisandhermoney.com forward slash LGA to get a free quote. So now I know that there is the type of trade that you do where you get in and out in the same day, but there's also the type of trade where you get in and out over several days. Can you break down the difference what that is? Yes. Yeah, so that's the difference between day trading and swing trading. So a day trade is I get into Apple stock at 8 a.m. in the morning and I get out by three o'clock before the market closes. I just day trade it because I got in and out of that stock in one day. A swing trade is I get into Apple stock today and maybe I let it let it go for a week or two and then I get out. Anything less than a year is considered a swing trade. Mm. Isn't that crazy though? Like sometimes people are like, I've been having this nine months. You're still trading. Okay. As long as it's less than a year, you're a trader. Um, so that's a swing trade. Now, the way that I trade is I'm looking at charts and the chart will tell me how long to keep the trade. So it's not that I'm going into this saying this is going to be a day trade. No, I'm going into it saying, OK, the chart said and when I say chart, I'm talking about there's um, something called a candlestick chart that will tell you what the stock has done, like where the stock price has been over time. You can look at those charts to figure out where's the best place to buy a, a stock or sell a stock. So when I'm looking, I can see, OK, the formation say that this price is the best place to buy that stock. Now, if it if it takes a day to get to my target, which is where the chart also says to sell the stock, then I'll get out in a day. But if it takes a couple of weeks to get to the target, then I'll let it ride. So really, you shouldn't go in just saying, OK, I'm going to be a day trader. I have to get in and out. No, no, no. You're letting the chart tell you how long you'll be into in a trade. And now where can, where can people find charts? They're hearing candle charts, 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 charts. And that's what you use in order to figure out which ones you're going to invest in and when do you pull out? Where do they find these charts? So one easy free free place is the CNBC app. So if the CNBC is where people get financial news, they also have an app and you can actually put a watch list in that CNBC app with all the companies you're interested in. I think that's like a great place to start for people that are newbies. And then when you press into that stock, it'll also show you their chart. So there's one place. And then also your broker. So when you're ready to start trading stocks, you have to open up a brokerage account. Many of my students use one called TradeStation, but I like them all. E-Trade, um, TD Ameritrade, just use one though that's more robust. Sometimes Robinhood will, will break down and some of the smaller ones will break down. So I want you, if you're really thinking about being a trader, you need to get a broker that is for traders. And that broker will have a place where you can also look at the stocks chart. Now, the, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. The bulk of our personal investing is really passive, right? The, the real crux core of our investments is in index funds mm -hmm. and ETFs. And we have a few um, individual stocks sprinkled out. Now, this with trading there is, this is active investing, meaning that there's more time involved. With passive investing, you do your research, that's time-wise, but then when you put your money in, you, you know, we're buying and holding. Mm -hmm. Now, with this, you had a job, full-time, a very demanding taxing job, and then you started doing this. So talk about people that will take your advice, take your course, and start active trading. How much time will they need to allocate, and how were you able to allocate that time while still working? Great question. So it really depends how much you want to get out of trading because trading is a skill set. It's something that you can use whenever you whenever you want to. So for example, there were times where I was traveling to Greece and sitting on the beach and I could pull out my cell phone and, and trade. Actually, I actually had one trade. I made $20,000 on the beach in Mykonos and my friend was in the water and she was like, wait, 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 that is not okay. How come I'm splishing and splashing and you over here making $20,000? This is not okay. <laughs> so it's a skill set and you can do it from anywhere. So that's that's one big difference. The fact that it is, it is still going to be active. You still have to put work in, but you can do it from anywhere. You can do it from your cell phone. Um, but going forward a little bit more, it really is 
I'm not going to tell people it's a get rich quick scheme. And I'm not going to tell you that you can do it without effort. It's more like a side hustle. If you were to go work for Uber, you'd have to put in a certain number of hours to, to get your money. You'd have to go do your driving for this many hours a day. If you were to go work at Kohl's during the Christmas season, you have several hours a day that you have to put in to get that money. So it's the same thing here. I think if you, like when you're first starting, you can put in about four hours a day if you really want to make your like your salary to replace your income you probably need to put about four hours a day and that is trading when the market opens and then checking it throughout the day to just check to see how your stocks are doing now as you become a better trader so for myself i've gotten to where i can trade maybe two hours a day if I'm really trying to, to hit a goal or I could even trade like 15 minutes a day sometimes and hit my goal. So it really depends on what your goals are and then you decide when you want to trade. So how do people know how to pick these companies or these stocks? How do you know which ones to go for? Are we watching CNBC or um, are there other resources yeah, that there's, people- There's thousands of stocks yeah, out there, you know? And take advantage of. Yeah, so I actually, this is actually the first first module of my course, how to pick good companies. <laughs> um, but I'll give you some, some tips. One, I do not want you to pick a penny stock. I do not want you to pick what the crowds are saying or the best thing, latest thing. Because usually by the time somebody's pi uh, like hyped it up, it's not a good company to get into anymore. So that is not it. What you should do, though, is look for those companies that are healthy, those companies that are, um, like I said, that are on an uptrend. Once you get into that CNBC app, open it up, and I want you to look at that chart and see over the last year, has their stock price been going up? And it'll look kind of like a, on the chart, it'll look kind of like a diagonal, but you want to make sure that it's been going up. Sometimes you'll have somebody tell you, oh, man, this this stock is really low. It's gone all the way down. This is the time to get it. But usually that's not actually the time to get it if if you're not like a super good trader. Right. Like if you're just coming in, I want you to get the healthy companies that have been doing good for a long time. Another thing that's important is as traders, we're looking for stocks that move. Um, one of the things I've noticed is some of my long term investors, they'll look for stocks that are like. They only move a couple cents a day. They're steady. Like that's really good for your retirement. But as a trader, you got to look for something that moves like at least a dollar a day. And that's a study called average true range. ATR is something super easy that you can look up when you're in your brokerage account. Usually they'll have like a little um, like a little wrench or something that says studies. Pull up one that says ATR, average true range, and that'll tell you over the last 14 days, how much does this stock move? And I feel like I might, I feel like I'm in teacher mode right now, but um, that's definitely a study that I think people should know about because if it's moving a dollar a day, then, then you can say, okay, if my goal is $300 and I get 300 shares of this, well, it'll move about a dollar a day. I'll hit my goal. If it's not moving, then you won't hit any goals. You just be stuck. So you started this with a goal. You said, man, if I could just make $300 a day, you know, I can start to make my way out of this. Um, how long did it take you to hit your goal? And has goals continued to play a role as you continue to get better at trading? Yes. So it took me about a year from when I decided I'm going to have this as my full-time job to when I actually quit the school was about a year. And I think that's a good expectation for most people. It doesn't take long to learn how to trade. Like, like my course is eight, my trade and travel course is eight weeks, but you have to practice. And then it takes time to get consistent. And then it takes time to just learn how the market flows, right? So it takes a short amount of time to learn, but about a year to get good. And then after that, you can decide, okay, do I want this to be my full-time thing or just a side hustle, right? Mm -hmm. And then in terms of my goals, yes, yes, they have increased. So at first I wanted $300 a day. Then I said, okay, I want $1,000 a day. And this was when I, when I was trading, um, when I say a day, the market's open five days a week. So it was like, okay, um, each of the days that the market's open, I want to average this amount. So sometimes there's days where I might lose, but there's other days where I may, may make more. So this is an average. 
Then I said, okay, that's getting kind of easy. Let me see if I can make $100,000 in a day. So okay. in 2020, I hit that goal. I made okay. over $100,000 wow. in a day. <laughs> And then I started making over $300,000 in a day. And it was what? like, what? Yes. So now I'm at a point where I just trade for goals. So um, I showed you guys this view earlier, but I, is it okay for me to show yeah, the please. view? Please show the YouTube. Uh, show. Uh, people on the podcast, you got to come to YouTube, you go to, YouTube. To, to see the view she about to give Look you. Look at that. Yes. So I Gorgeous. traded for this house. So wait, are you this... on vacation? No, so this I is where live, you live here. <laughs> Can y'all see this? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You're looking at blue waters for the people yes. on the, on the oh podcast. Vaca it feels and like a vacation is, every day. Let me see. I'm going to get up. But like I traded for this house. And this is one of those houses that's like right on the beach. You know, uh -huh. the ones that you look up in and you're like, who lives there? Yes. And so it's like a, I mean, it's an expensive house. It's a $40 million home. It's a, wow. it's a pretty expensive home, but I traded for this. I knew that wow. this is what I wanted and the monthly mortgage is, is high is in the six figures. So yes, I actually, and I actually put it on my Instagram page. Like you can see a oh. picture of it on Terry G on my Instagram. I show like my earnings where I was trading for this house. So now these are the type of goals that I have. And Incredible. We're not gonna just act like she and just say she in a forty million dollar yeah. house right now, and that she made over three hundred thousand dollars in one day. <laughs> like that's incredible. Um, some of you guys are like, where can I learn from her? I don't even want to finish watching uh, that. or just listening. Give me the the link. Go to hisandhermoney dot com forward slash trade, and we'll make sure we have the links in the description box and the show notes, all that stuff. You guys, check it out. It is well, well, well worth it. Oh man. So my question for you, I was just gonna ask before you showed us this beautiful uh scenic uh view that feels like you're on a vacation every day. What has training allowed you to do? Like what are some of the things Buy that you've been able to house? do because that of this <laughs> that you could not have done as an assistant principal? Oh gosh. You know what? The the most valuable piece is just not having to go to a building every day. Like I felt like my soul was dying and I, I don't want to say that to, to offend any educators, but for me every day I would be like dreading that drive. So just the fact that I don't have to answer to anyone, that is freedom to me. Like that, that is the utmost prize. Just not having to answer to a boss, not having to have somebody tell me the thumbtacks are the wrong color, not having to ask, like have somebody tell me that I arrived two minutes too late or that I, you know, missed out on this meeting or did something wrong. Like I just got my peace of mind back. And that's what trading gave to me. And then after that, seeing the world like after I quit, I went to South Korea for a month, Thailand for a month, Australia, Vietnam. Like I actually taught my first class in Thailand and then the second one in Vietnam. So just seeing the world and being able to like have the world as my playground, that's what trading has done that's for me. That's incredible. And you've also been able to be a blessing to others. I know your mom. Yeah. So I retired my mom and I actually made, there was a day where I made 135,000 in a day and her salary is 35,000 a year. So I almost made five years of her salary in one day. And that was the day I retired my mom. Wow. And I've been wanting to do that for a long time anyway, but now I could just have, Hey, this one day of trading, I'm going to put this in this account and, and whatever you need, have it. And she actually, like, she's actually coming to, to live here. She put in her two week resignation wow. just a couple of weeks ago and she's coming to live in paradise with me. Wow. She never would have dreamed that this was possible. That's yeah. incredible. Incredible. I'm sure that there are people that are asking Terry on average, um, what can, what do you teach your students? How much to invest per day? Because there's some people that may not necessarily have the money. So yeah, I'm sure if there's a benchmark capital do you need to right, have? that you say, right. You need to at least this amount to be able to, uh, trade. At least start with a thousand to $2,000 and your goal on the front end is going to be to make 1% of your cash amount per day. So if you're starting with $2,000, you're trying to make $20 a day which don't sleep on that. That's $100 a week, $400 a month. That's 20% return on $2,000 just yeah. by trying to make 1% a day. And somebody's going to say like, well, Terry, that's not possible. Like you can't do it. But my students will tell you that is possible. 1% a day for a trader is actually very reasonable. 
Will you do it every day? No, there's going to be some days that you lose, but then there's other days where you might make 3%. Do you? And then the next question is, do you have to trade every day? No, because this is up to you. It's your job. It's your time. So some days you may decide, you know what? This is a good trade. I'm going to get into this and let it go for a couple of weeks. And other times you may say, you know what? I actually really want to get that purse or I really want to get my debt. I paid off my student loans. I really want to pay off my student loans. Let's actually um, do this more often so that I can try to reach those goals. So it's yeah. really going to be up to you. Yeah, you were able to pay off your student loans by trading. Yes. That's yeah, incredible. So many uh, people listening want to be able to pay off their debt, pay off mortgages, yeah. buy homes, whatever the case may be. It gave you options. Um, I remember, so we've been married, it'll be 15 years in a few days. By the time you guys watch this, we've already been, been married 15 years. Crossed over. Um, Congratulations. Re- yes, Happy anniversary. <laughs> yes. Um, but I remember there was one time we got like some type of advertisement in the mail and you come, we had to drive like an hour out to sit in this whole presentation. Really, there was really nobody that really looked like us there either. And they were um, teaching options, um, basically selling their entire like course and teaching and things like that. We didn't know that. And their tools. And their tools. At the end, y'all, they, okay, so first off, it was a two day two um, days. event. The first day, they literally told everybody to go back to their hotel rooms, apply for as many credit cards as you want, as you yeah. can. I mean, they even gave sheets of the credit card with the uh, information numbers. with the phone numbers. We didn't do any of them. We just, I was like, this don't sound right. What y'all talking about? So the following day was when they literally pitched this massive, I mean, at the time it was like, it was worth a curve, even a down payment for yeah, a like home. $25,000. Yeah, crazy. And people were in line just signing the up. And then the people that did not sign up, which was us, were left like, like we were embarrassed, almost like no, we got ushered into the hallway. We got uh, right. Remember, <laughs> they ushered us into the hallway. Oh no! Yes, they did. They and I was like, never again will I ever. And they made put one myself. final pitch in the hallway. Yeah, we were young. We didn't understand. We were, we're trying ambitious. to. We were just ambitious. We were trying to figure out things. Didn't know. I said I will never make that mistake ever, ever again. And then you came along, Terry, and I'm like, look, she's somebody that we can definitely recommend to our audience. Somebody even for ourselves, even our family. And the price of your course is actually extremely reasonable compared to what they're going to make. <laughs> yeah, exactly. what they're gonna make. Crazy. Yes. And so I want you to talk about that. What was the reason? Why did you want to? Because you could have kept this to yourself. You could have just kept it moving. Or understand. you could have very well charged way more than what you're charging. Why did you want to make it affordable like this to be able to help others be able to live the life that you're living? I am so glad that you guys talked about that story because those are the the people that I compete with if I'm competing with anybody. Um, It's the classes that charge $30,000, $50,000 to teach you how to trade or to even teach you how to invest in real estate. There's a lot of classes like that too. Come sit in this two day thing and we're going to teach you, but then they don't give any mentorship. They really don't help you. They kind of leave you uh, flailing out somewhere and you don't really learn. So for me, it was a matter of, okay, what are all the things I wish I knew when I started investing? How do I make sure people know that so that it doesn't take them 11 years to get good? How do they like shorten their learning curve and actually learn this? And for me, my story is I actually was in a class very similar to you guys. I was in a trading class learning how to trade. It cost me $30,000 per class, but the teacher wasn't very good. And I saw like two people who had just paid 30,000. It was a couple they had paid $30,000 each $60,000 to be in this class and they were knocked out sleep because the teacher wasn't good (laughs) no I was like this is not right like they like this is so messed up they paid $60,000 to be here and they're not learning and for me, that just wasn't okay. I don't think it's okay that people are paying 45000 50000 and they're not learning. So my class is 90% less than those classes. Mm. And my, my people are learning 100 times better. Yeah. And like they literally are learning. Like one student just made $200,000 in a day. Another one made $50 in a day. But she was ecstatic because that was 50 more dollars than she had before. Mm-hmm. So like my students are learning. Oh gosh, That's like awesome. yeah, like your story brings back to yeah. me just how like it was a nightmare. I was. It was a yeah. nightmare. They literally had people literally 
all those credit cards that they applied for the previous day, they literally had them cashing it out. I mean, people were taking money off their homes. Mm-hmm. It was insane. Oh, Michael, lines it was insane. It was like a nightmare. And it was something that I never, ever, ever forgot. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, if you all are interested to learn from Terry, go to his and her money.com forward slash trade. You will not be disappointed. One of the things that I love um, what you're doing, uh, you actually have students that uh, make a thousand dollars a day and they have to like hold this sign and take a picture. I mean, this is like reality it's doable talk about that program the thousand dollar a day what that, that that was a goal that you made for your students and they're accomplishing yes it. and it's so it, and i have to say for law purposes it's a thousand dollars in a day in a day because like we said sometimes it's an average sometimes you you don't make some sometimes you make more but they have to prove that they have made a thousand dollars in a day and when they show us they have to show us their receipts they show us their balance they show us the trade when they hit it then we um send them a plan that says you're in the thousand dollars in a day club and we actually have over a thousand students in the thousand dollars in a day club we hit that goal actually in january so now we're probably more like 1500 students in the thousand dollars in a day club so we're generating over a million dollars in our communities every single day which is crazy that's crazy oh my gosh that's crazy yes Yes, and, and I think what's also remarkable about what you're doing and the impact that you're making in so many people's lives, um, the platform that, that we use, that you use for your course is called Teachable. You're like, you're their number one. I am. Your number one. Course, you, creator. course creator. That's yeah. insane. Congratulations. You beat us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. Well deserving. <laughs> well deserving. Congrats. <laughs> You obviously have to be doing something um, right. Love it. So talk about uh, your family and friends. Okay. You started making this money and you started like, I'm I'm sure if you're anything like us, when we got a hold of our finances and we started to educate ourselves and learn, we wanted to tell the world. That's why we created his and her money uh, dot com. That's why we created this platform. But most importantly, our family, it was like we were like cheerleading. You all have to do this, do this, do this. Talk about your family and friends. Like, have they jumped on board? Um, how has that been? I'm sure that they're extremely proud of you. I mean, this beautiful home now that your mother gets to retire and come live with you. I think it's incredible. So talk about the impact on your family and friends. So my family all works for me now. <laughs> well, like okay, that's man. like the biggest impact. My like literally um, three of my cousins, if you reach out to me on Instagram, you're probably talking to me or my cousin, uh, my assistant, my chief of staff, my salesperson is my cousin. My well, the mom, person we were emailing, she was very, very kind. That was family. Yep. That was oh, my cousin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so our whole family is super invested in this now. Like they're so proud. Oh my gosh. They're so proud. And then they're learning how to trade too. So it's definitely opened up. It just opened up our eyes of what's possible. Most of the people in my family had kids by 21. And so like they like when I was coming up, the things I dreamed about was like, okay, I'm going to get married at 23 because that way I'll beat everybody else. Like I'm going to make six figures because that way, you know, they'll be proud of me. We had no idea that millions was even in the radar. Like what? Like Who does that? So, yeah, now I've been able to provide jobs for my family, give them a skill set that they can actually build on to give a legacy to the rest of their kids and friends too. just everybody so proud. And they all just say, like, you know, just watching you inspires us. Like even the friends that have been able to come visit this house, they're like, Terry, you don't know how much of a godsend you are. Like you just gave us rest. You provided like you've inspired. It's it's been amazing. God, amazing. To God be the glory. It's just yes. been amazing. Now, one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you about this whole trading situation is because of your integrity. We know that you yep. keep it real and that you are actually an honest person. There's a lot of people teaching this mm-hmm. stuff that ain't honest. So I want you to speak to the risk that is involved here, especially when you try to YouTube this thing on your own and piecemeal it together. There's a lot of people that fail at this if they don't take the proper steps. And what type of person can do this? Because people might have heard you say, well, she went to MIT. She worked at Morgan Stanley. So of course this charts and candlesticks and stop laws, all that makes sense to her. You know, I don't have that type of background. Can I really do this? So can you speak to those two thoughts? If you're somebody who is disciplined and can follow a checklist, this will be good for you because 
like I, I literally gave you a checklist and trading is all about discipline. If you're able to actually do these things each time you take a trade, are you able to have patience for the stock price to come to you? Are you able to have the, um, the discipline to actually look at the chart before you take the trade? Can you manage your emotions? I'm, I'm putting my hands down. So I'm thinking about your stomach. Everybody wants to trade based on their stomach. Well, I just feel like this is going to do well. No. <laughs> Can you actually have the discipline to follow a plan? So, so discipline is important. Patience is important. I also think persistence. So you learn a lot about yourself as a trader. Like I've learned my weaknesses. My weaknesses are when I'm losing money, I have a tendency to go in and just like sell it all. I can't. Or I get real like overwhelmed and I start ignoring it like it's not happening. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to close it down and not ever look at it again. And <laughs> But like you learn a lot about yourself. Do you have the persistence to, if you lose, try again? Um, because here's the thing, as a trader, we are looking at things with a three to one reward to risk ratio. But that means that we can lose three times and have one win and it'll, it will get back to break even. But you have to think about the emotional part of that. Who really is able to lose three times and then still try again? That is the type of person that you have to be to be a trader. Now, it, it, am I saying that if you're, if you know, if you're scared or emotional that you can't trade? No, I think you can. Like, it's a skill set. I can teach you. You can learn. But just know coming in that it is emotional and it's something that you're going to have to work at to be good. Even though, like, it's easy to enter, it's easy to open a brokerage account, learning how to be consistent takes time. Yeah. yeah. So that's some things good that advice. I would say. Very good advice. Mm -hmm. Again, you guys check out her course at his and her money.com forward slash trade. I want to talk about your faith. We are people of faith. We're believers and you are as well too. talk about the role that that has played in this journey of, of just how God has truly taken your life. He took literally the desires of your heart and he's literally given it to you. So talk about the importance of your faith and how that has impacted this journey. Great question. So in 2017, that's the year that I quit my job. Um, I remember somebody walking into my office and telling me what God has for you next is better than what you're doing right now. And that was the time where I was trying to decide if I would quit or not. God had already told me that I could trade and travel, but I still was kind of not being obedient. I was, was afraid, literally, I was afraid. So I was afraid to leave this job that was, um, at least it wasn't comfortable, but at least it was consistent. I knew I'd get a paycheck. I was afraid to, to leave and travel the world by myself. Like, who, who am I going to be with? Am I going to be safe? Like, all these things were going through my head, even though God had said in October, because I had a friend who passed away and I had journaled about it. And God said, yes, go do it. But it took me a whole nother year to, be, to, to actually be obedient. And I remember when the lady came into my office and said, what God has for you next is better than what you have right now. I just broke down. I broke down and it still was hard. Like it still was hard to take that step. But then I went on to the next year. Another couple ladies came and prophesied over me. You are going to be really wealthy. And this is, I had quit my job, but I hadn't been making a whole lot of money yet. So um, I remember they came and they're like, no, you, you're going to be a really wealthy woman. I received it. I received it. Okay. If that's what God says, then I'm just going to work as hard as I can and I remember the, the, the assignment at that time was, Terry, just do the class, just finish. And like people don't understand that when you're actually building a course, it takes a lot of work. A There's lot. a lot that goes behind a the lot. scenes. <laughs> You're building curriculum, making slides, doing, doing uh, meetings in Zooms, teaching people. Then you got people that are crazy talking about what well, they didn't like what you taught. And can you get on a call again? You lose your free time. You lose your, your everything. You're busy all the time. And I remember being like, Lord, I don't I didn't ask for this. Don't you remember? I asked to just travel and be on my own. I was trying to quit. Make 300 a day. <laughs> right. I was trying to quit education. I didn't ask for this. But, um, and, and I, I, I want to answer your question too about what made you do this, but I, we can come back to it. But it was just one of those things of like, God has asked me to be obedient. 
And every time that I'm obedient, he is blessed above and beyond everything I can ask or think. And that's a promise he made in his, in the Bible and he has done it. And it really is just, just Terry, every time I, I just want you to be obedient. So that to me has been like, I've seen, I've seen it. He said, he said, build a course. I built a course and people started signing up. He said, quit your job and start trading and traveling. I did that. And now 6,000 other people have seen that journey and decided to come along too. It's just about being obedient even when you can't see it. That's right. Right. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. All right. Let's talk about <laughs> us, Black people. We need ways to build wealth. The wealth gap continues to widen, right? Yeah. This is an opportunity in that direction. Why should we, African Americans that are tuned in right now, really, really consider this? You know what? I was looking at some stats recently, and there are so many stats. So, first of all, um, the average income of African American woman is about forty one thousand um, dollars. But we are also the fastest growing people to open businesses, mm -hmm. and we're the fastest to close. So because of lack of funding, because of um, like lack of support, I think I saw one report and, and don't quote me on this, but it was like 73% of, of black small businesses are doing it on their own. They don't have any support. So lack of support, lack of funding, we're closing. And then during COVID, and not just black people, but women in general, we're losing their jobs by the millions because when, when kids were at home, we had to stay home with them or just we were the first people to get let go at the job. So the fact, the fact of the matter is statistics supports that we need another stream of income and you're not going to get to be wealthy or bridge the gap just by your job alone. You need something else that can actually help you bridge that gap. So this is where a side hustle, trading, investing steps in. This is where I'm going to take the money that I have and learn how to make that grow so that I can also have more money um, or I can have something in addition to the job. Does that make sense? 100%. Absolutely. You got to yes. have more than one way you have to. to bring in that That's income. Right. That's so right. people are going to go to hisandhermoney.com slash trade, and they're going to want to know how to get involved with the course. What will they find after they sign up? What are they going to learn? What journey are you going to take them through? Yeah. So, and this is where I also talked about, I get excited because this is so much fun to me. Like, I it. really like helping people learn how to trade. Like it's, it's something that so many people are afraid of, but you can do it. And especially like, I know a lot of people are on the fire journey and they're, they're like, well, all I've been told is, you know, I'm supposed to be frugal and I'm supposed to not do anything too risky, but I'm a, I'm a fire person too. I paid off all my debt. Like I've gotten enough to retire, but I still trade. So, so what you're going to find when you come into the course is everything I wish I knew when I started. So first, how do you pick good companies? And that's the first module. Then we go into how do you protect yourself from losing? And that's that risk management plan that we've been talking about. Then we go into, well, how do I know the best time to get in and out of a trade? That's charting. That's technical analysis. And then we go into that um, plan that we talked about, the trading plan. Well, Terry, how do I take the emotions out and make sure I'm doing all the things? Like, how do I check things off? That's the trading plan, my IWT method. We put it all together in module four. For my advanced, so that's the first four classes. Then for my advanced students, we start talking about, well, how do you make money when the market is going down? Because did you guys know you can make money when the market falls? It doesn't have to be just as the market is going up. When the market's falling, you can still like kill it. So how do you do that? We talk about shorting in module five. In module six, that's when we talk about gaps in Globex trading. So when something happens overnight or there's earnings and the stock price jumps, how do I take advantage of those moves? That's module six. And then in module seven, we start putting it all together. And that's when we go to options. Now that you know how to really work a stock, now we're going to take it to the next level and learn how to trade options, which is 100 shares of a stock at a time. 
That's all the things you learn in the course. And then we have like weekly support. We have weekly office hours. If you're in VIP, we have like three calls a week of coaching. So we really want you to excel in trade and travel. That's awesome. Again, nice. you guys go to hisorhermoney.com forward slash trade. We'll make sure that we have all of Terry's information in the show notes and the description. We cannot thank you enough um, just for sharing with our audience and just giving of yourself in this way. Thank you. Thank you. And I kept saying I'll come back to the story, but I originally started teaching in Thailand and then I went to Vietnam and they asked me to teach them how to trade. And then I came home and they had seen everything I was doing on Instagram and asked me to teach a class here in, in the States. That's how it really got started. I was not looking wow. to start a class, but people just kept asking me to teach them. And so I'm literally just answering the call. God told me I to teach. It. And I'm teaching. And you're doing just that. Doing just man, that. Man. So guys, ladies, here's a here's an opportunity, a big time yep. opportunity. There's work involved, there's risk involved, but a whole lot of opportunity involved as well. Yeah. So we hope that you guys head over to his and her money.com forward slash trade. Check out Terry's course. We trust her and Absolutely. we wouldn't have brought her before you if we didn't. That's right. So she's somebody that you can definitely learn from and somebody that you can definitely trust. We want y'all to win. We want y'all to be wealth building. We don't want you to just be budgeting alone. We don't yeah. want you just paying off debt alone. We want you creating a legacy of wealth that right. goes beyond you. Terry got a whole family employed as <laughs> a result of trading I'm and sure learning the skill set. make enough literally in a day. Uh -huh. Did I say that legally correctly? Yes. To yes. be able to retire her mom and to be able to give her a check. Every legacy. Like man. that's incredible. Legacy in every direction. Up to mom. That's true. Sideways to cousins. That's right. You know what I mean? Like yep. legacy, legacy on top of legacy. So man, we, you, you inspired us, Terry. Yes. Huh? Yes. I mean, we inspired thank on the microphone you. right now. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So thank you so much for taking thank time you. out of your busy schedule with your great view of the water oh my to God. come <laughs> and share this incredible wisdom with our audience today. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much.